Hi, hello, welcome guys. Welcome to Madmania. So today our topic is about a thought process. So let's go into the video. Apoptosis. This is a process in which the enzymes are activated and this leads to degradation of cells own nuclear DNA and cytoplasmic protein and it results in the cell death. So apoptosis is also known as programmed cell death and there will be apoptotic bodies which are the characteristic features of apoptosis and note here there will be no inflammation in apoptosis but in necrosis there will be inflammation. So going into the morphology there will be fragmented nuclei, condensed chromatin and shrunken cell bodies but these are not histologically detectable in H and Einstein. So, so the causes may be physiological and pathological. So during the normal cell development there may be some cells which die and some cells are replaced by other. Okay in physiological apoptosis these are the condition. The apoptosis occurs in the excess leukocytes in the end of the immune response and it occurs during the embryogenesis and uh, when the potentially harmful self reactive lymphocytes are present this physiological apoptosis takes place and in pathological condition the examples are DNA damage accumulation of misfolded protein and uh, mainly the viral infection in these conditions and all there will be pathological apoptosis going into the mechanism of the apoptosis there will be caspases activation so these caspases are the enzymes which play a main role in the apoptosis so there will be two main pathways that are intrinsic and extrinsic this intrinsic pathway is also known as mitochondrial pathway in healthy cells the bcl2 family and its nearby protein bcl xl hold the pro apoptotic members backs and back in check and this leads to maintenance of the mitochondrial membrane integrity. This condition happens in the healthy cells but in a cell injury. The cell injury due to growth factor withdrawal, DNA damage due to radiation and toxins and the protein misfolding due to ER stress. In these conditions and all there will be release of a BH3 protein. Okay, This BH3 protein favors the packs and the back pro-apoptotic members and the, hence the mitochondrial membrane permeability increases. So there will be release of the cytochrome C and other pro-apoptotic proteins and hence it enters the cytosol. So after entering into the cytosol it activates the caspase 9 and there will be caspase cascade activation and with the help of the endonuclease enzyme there will be nuclear fragmentation in it also leads to formation of apoptotic bodies. So the other pathway is the extrinsic pathway which is also known as death receptor pathway. These death receptors are uh, surface molecules that trigger the apoptosis. The TNF receptor family are mostly involved in this and the cytoplasmic collision of this TNF receptor family contains the death domain. The pro 2 typic death receptors are the type 1 TNF receptor and the FAS CD95. So here the FAS ligand or uh, membrane proteins which are present on the activated T lymphocytes on expressing its target this FAS ligand helps in the cross linking of the FAS molecules and hence there will be binding to the adapter proteins via the death domain and uh, this process causes the activation of caspase 8 and this leads to caspase cascade activation and there will be elimination of self-reactive lymphocytes and yeah we again have a doubt that how these apoptotic uh, cells are clear from the body the answer is these apoptotic uh, cells and their fragments produce a number of eat me signals which entice the phagocytes and uh, the clearance takes place. 
So in normal cells, the phosphatidyl serine is present on the inner leaflet of the plasma membrane. But in apoptotic cells, the phosphatidyl flips are present on the outer cells which attracts the phagocytes. Okay. And cells that are dying from uh, apoptosis also secrete soluble factors that recruit phagocytes and thus the clearance of apoptotic cells takes place. So note here the apoptotic sensors are BIM, BID, BAD, PUMA and MOXA. The anti-apoptotic factors are BCL1, 2, 6, XL and MCL1. The pro-apoptotic uh, proteins are BAX and BAC and the markers of apoptosis are caspases and there will be elevated cytochrome C level and there will be presence of anaxin 5 and in agarose gel electrophoresis there will be step later pattern okay so the summary of apoptosis is the first step is elimination of unwanted cells that is programmed cell death the second step is cell shrinks the third will be nuclear fragmentation the fourth will be formation of apoptotic bodies and fifth will be phagocytosis of apoptotic bodies without inflammation